All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Start my bed a little late today because I went to bed at like two a.m. last night. Did I get managed to get a little coding done? Ah, uh, thank God, it was a lot easier, you know, because the one with the interactable object was like literally the hardest part. And the cool part was, uh, Bracky said like in the video I did yesterday, which was, I don't remember. Oh yeah, creating an item. Right, we learned about using scriptable objects and this, you know, other stuff and derivatives and stuff. Now that I've been doing this for, I guess now it's been what two and a half, three months now. You know, it's it, you know, this, I, I think I'm finally hitting that. Um, I don't know, what's that word I'm thinking of? Plateau or diminishing returns on the difficulty curve. Like I'm actually reaching almost the top of it. I mean, yeah, it'll be more crazy, complicated stuff, but hopefully it just gets easier and easier. So, uh, and, he, and then he said in the video yesterday, once I finished it, he said, like, now it's going, now from here on out, the hard part's done. Now it's the fun part. So, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm a little skeptical, but we'll see. But, um, yeah. Anyway, it's a Sunday. I'm kind of concerned just not doing videos on Sundays. But I'm, I'll make a decision this coming Saturday because, I don't know, maybe I, I kind of even like the idea of maybe just not doing videos on weekends because it's like, well, markets are down, so what's the point, right? But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I've cleared the dungeon, yes. All right, let's just leave this over here. Did I get any loot? Of course not. Yeah, Bit Heroes, ever since they got uh, taken over by Congregate, man, they literally have just nerfed all the item drops. All right, so let me try it. So Forsen just went live, so I want to see what game he plays today. Because uh, I kind of want to see what happens with Resident Evil 3. I always liked Jill Valentine. I didn't know she actually comes back in like future Resident Evils. Alright, anyway. Um, but yeah, I can kind of tell like, even back then they were still trying to make their women like, you know, very like feminazi and like angry and stuff. At least she's not a total cunt though. Because I don't like it when I actually see the uh, main the main protagonist be a huge asshole. Because at least when men do it, there's usually an actual good reason. But when, you know, in modern day games, when they make, you know, feminazis, you know, it goes like, well, men act like assholes, so why can't we? Well, it just turns out that you're just being a stupid bitch when you just don't have to be, right? And I tell you, like, even the asshole men eventually show, like, a softer side. I don't see the women doing the same thing in these modern shows and games. And it's very annoying because most people are not like that, you know, so... Of course, in my case, hopefully, uh, I mean, not hopefully, I know I will avoid that problem. So, uh, yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you stand before Jesus and, um, what's his name? God. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can take such a belligerent uh, position once you're talking to him, right? So, anyway, Bitcoin searches for last week look like it's finalizing at 13. Um... Yeah, my proxy's on. Let's just make sure this thing is actually working. All right, so we'll do that. Oh my God, this is so bad. All right, so Bitcoin dots is at 65.1%. Toy Fire value, oh my God, this is so small. This is why Firefox is such a trash browser. Toy Fire value is 101.8 billion, so uh, very light, of course. Bitcoin's at 67.90. Uh, I already just refreshed it, so I guess this is correct. Litecoin's still pretty steady, $40.66. So it looks like we're just waiting on seeing what the market open's going to be. Uh, I haven't seen or read anything different, all right? But uh, Trump is now realizing, yeah, he needs to reopen America because this is all bullshit. As I mentioned yesterday, there's an actual poll that I'm running. This used to be around 50-50. Now, a vast majority of people, around new, now it's almost close to 80% want to reopen America in one form or totally. And on top of that, I've gotten way more votes, uh, you know, than I normally would, right? You know, at least the last poll I did, which was the previously largest number of votes that I got from my shitty Twitter account that's also shadow banned-ish, right? I've already surpassed that. I still have like another 24 to 28 hours left. So this already tells me that people want America to reopen, even partially, and do it now. So, yeah. So, that's good. That's good. Hopefully, I... Uh... So, 
if that's the case, I'm expecting them literally by next week, if we keep hearing shut it down, I actually do expect things people get a lot angrier. And hopefully we'll be able to force America to reopen sometime, um, ideally next week, but maybe two, three weeks from now. Definitely by May 1st, because people are going to definitely be like, okay, what the fuck are you doing? All right. You know, because I'm definitely at that point already. And I'm usually ahead of the curve. So when everyone else catches up, I'd say, yeah, I'd probably get a couple more weeks. Um, uh, the more likely scenario. Damn, I bought some Hive Power yesterday too. So Steam's down at 17.44 cents. Because I really do need crypto to go back up. And this shit ain't going back up until we reopen the world from this fucking coronavirus stuff. Um, some people say it's a hoax. I don't think it's a hoax. Right, but they're definitely overreacting for sure, and it's getting to the point where this overreaction definitely is now starting to come off as a deliberate attempt to fuck everybody over, including Trump. Uh, and of course, that's not okay. Will this thing fucking go? Uh, yeah, this thing is just oh god, Firefox. Anyway, uh, Hive is a little under 18 cents, so oh, that's good because I also got uh, quite some more Hive yesterday, so. I still want to get some steam too. All right, uh, let me refresh this while that reloads. Uh, GMC is at six to seven, so it's been very stable. Not much happening there. Uh, Four hundred four, also very st extremely stable. All right, look at those gigantic buy orders, six to seven. It's very nice. Oh wow, this is actually kind of low. So if I'm willing to wait, I could probably get it. I, I could probably get seven. Yeah, someone bought eleven point three million four hundred four coin. Yeah, they bought a shit ton of coins. Uh, two by two coins at 58 to 60. So pretty much, you know, not much changes there, but two by two has always been very, very stable. So it's, it's really nice. Plus the increased difficulty is really helping out a lot. I've noticed that even though I've been growing my stack, uh, of two by two coins, even using bigger blocks, it still takes a while. It takes at least a couple days to mint. It's actually kind of, it's actually good, right? I don't want to specify how much, but it's a sizable amount just as a test and yeah so imagine how much harder it is for everybody else to mint and people who are minting two by two you know there's gonna be a lot of blocks actually why am i um all right yeah, it's such a weird uh my god uh here we go yeah so it's, yeah but yeah um a lot of blocks that are minting are probably only generating a very small amount of coins. Uh, block Explorer. Can you just take me to the Block Explorer? What? Oh. Huh? Two by two block space. Oh yeah, that's nice. The, make sure you get that AADS traffic. Yeah, look at, look at all these really shitty minting coins, right? <laughs> So really high difficulty and, you know, very limited supply, you know, two by two is going to be uh, doing pretty well for a while. Uh, that was always that weird thing. Mitch said uh, he recently updated either JMC or 404 coin block explorers, uh, like uh, Iqueous with the, you know, a much later version that's more stable. I'm hoping two by two is also running that too. I mean, I haven't heard any problems, so yeah. All right, anyway, uh, this should be refreshed now. Gold supply squeeze should ease as Swiss refineries, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so everyone just wants, like, actual currency. So that's why dollar's going up. I guess gold's going up a little bit, too, right? Even though you can't really spend it on anything. Um, but gold's not going up enough for me. So, and it's like, what am I going to do with it, right? Like, because I want to sell it later. That means I have to carry around like tens of thousand dollars potentially worth of gold just to sell it somewhere you know what a fucking pain in the ass it is yeah again i'd rather have crypto which is why crypto is doing all right at least for now but it's uh crypto's gone up as much as it will right now now it can't go up anymore because we are reopening the world uh let's see then there's something going on with the oil which i just don't care one Silicon Valley factory keeps running on mid coronavirus. Well, that's good. Impact of the thing. We've never seen this kind of devastation in the industry. Yeah, a lot of people are getting angry. And that's good. Because uh, when people get angry, uh, yeah, I cannot get eggs uh, at Target. I can never get eggs anymore. 
it, it's always sold out. Like that part of the section of this target is always sold out. It's more dangerous than the coronavirus. Uh, it's looks like I've suspended dividends or stop buybacks in April. Um, let's see. But there will be some glitches. Yeah, uh, there's already uh, b banks, like piece of shit Bank of America. They always were pieces of shit. I know them firsthand. And I, I beat them. I fucking beat them. All right. You know, used their credit cards. And I got fucked in 2008. And then they got bailed out. And I didn't. So I was still on the hook for six, seven, eight thousand dollars. And I said, you know what, fuck you. You know, I just didn't pay it. And then I wound up doing, um, and of course that destroyed my credit, but I didn't care at the time, right? And then, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, so I, I forgot what it's called, but I had to get a lawyer, paid off a little bit, and then they tried to collect the different debts. Like, you know what, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and I just didn't pay it. And then, yeah, I wound up getting, so I wound up like discharging five, six thousand dollars $6,000, which was a lot to me at the time. Uh, so, you know. I got, I managed to get my bail out and then, you know, it takes seven years for it to remove from your credit report. So yeah, but ever since then, it's like, yeah. And then I remember one time I did try to work out something with Bank of America and the guy refused to give it to me in writing. You always have to get it in writing because that's what my oldest brother used to tell me because the credit companies actually take advantage of you. So Bank of America was just scamming people. So once this is all over, I definitely will, you know, like... I mean, I don't know how far the Groypers and Nick Fuentes can go, but I know they'll definitely lay a very solid foundation for challenge for you know bringing all these piece of shit banks and corporations to heel. Because if they don't, I will fucking do it one way or the other. The, the, the fucking scumbags, like pure fucking greed, pure fucking evil. Right? And now, and then of course, you know they're getting free money, literally free money from the bailout, and they're not lending it to people, right? Because they're forcing everyone to buy, to borrow only from their bank and no one else. And it forces them to pay it back when they're not supposed to do that. All right, that's why they're getting free money because they're supposed to lend it to, the, like the fucking banking system in America is such a terrible piece of shit. You know, it's like okay, well now I'm getting triggered. So it's pure evil. It's pure fucking evil, and it's the reason why we have so many Democrats and Bernie Bros running around, right? Because the fucking Republican Party can't do shit to you know actually deal with it and a lot of conservatives are pretty annoyed with the, the banks too but well i mean what's the well, i mean you know it's, it's, we still have too many boomers so you know they're still trying to whatever also she is pretty uh pretty attractive julia laroche the biggest mistake we can make is laying off people over email what uh the is how you'll be brand for the next day or more um blah, 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 exactly not jack, pulse, okay. you can't do that that's big you can't fire people by email in this superior you got community even if you have to you have to work through hr touch each one of them yeah that's why because why do you think people why do you think employees pick up a gun and start going workplace violence right <laughs> Um, but with that being said, if you're really that paranoid, you're you're definitely gonna fire people over uh, email, and then you're hire armed security guards. He's just that employees are small, medium sized men who might be concerned about their job. Probably actually talk to their boss, but you know, everyone's terrified. It's not unique. You know, to Mark Cuban's credit, he is saying that he is paying everybody at the Dallas Mavericks stadium thing or whatever. At least his employees. So you know, he's he's actually stepped up, even though he's kind of a piece of shit when it comes to Trump. But uh, he, he, he has since laid way the back off because he realized, you know what, this is just not going to work. Uh, let's see, compound coins at 7507 to a little under 8,000 Satoshis of dog coins. So again, still remains very solid. It's going down a little bit, but uh, let me see. Uh, what's Forsen playing right now? Um, he is playing Resident Evil 3. All right, I got to hurry this up. So Bitcoin's worth 300 by... Okay. Historically accurate passages, epic Bitcoin, okay, idiot, uh, but supports other, okay, whatever, jo John McAfee's a, an F word now. Will Bitcoin price hit 70k post halving? Eventually, yes. This year, again, it's going to have to be way after uh, we reopen America. And it's going to take some time for that to, because um, of lag, you know. <sighs> Excuse me, because people have to go back to work. People, people who are fired or laid off have to find new jobs, and then they have to get a paycheck. And, you know, that's going to take like at least two to four weeks, right? You know, from start to finish. So, you know, there's going to be some lag time. But yeah, of course it will. It could do it this year, possibly too. But again, nothing will happen until we reopen America. And I think the tide is finally turning because this is 
This is substantial. This is quite substantial. Like I've never seen something this lopsided. Not only the volume of votes relative to my shitty Twitter account, but also just this. All right, because uh, because I'm trying to keep the answers as as specific yet cover as broad yet specific but broad and as because I'm only allowed four choices. I want to make it as fair as possible. So there's like you know not a lot of manipulation, right? Because the way I phrase these answers could really manipulate the thing, and I want the truth, not a manipulated result. So you know, this is just like, well, shutdown's just right. Don't do anything more or less. It's just right. Some want to actually increase it more. Of course, it's boomers, right? So it's eleven percent. But then some are like, yeah, it's too much. Just do a little partial reopening, right? Unfortunately, I didn't. I, I ran out of space, so I can't do a percent. But anyone who just wants to partially open it, but not fully. You know, this is where a lot of people are. And then not too far behind it. People are just like, go fuck, everyone go fuck yourself. Just reopen America, period. <laughs> so, like, jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to keep that open. Uh, Trump is 48 to 44. So Trump's really uh, getting in hot water, right? He's, he's, he's going to lose to a mentally unstable old fool, right? Ugh. It's just like... I just cannot wait for uh, us to retake American Western society. It's just ridiculous. Cash Central Bank's new research shows why fear could spark adoption of digital currencies. Yes, that's true. That's actually, that's in fact when markets were going down 33% or whatever, right? One thir yeah, 33% from the Dow. People dogpiled into cryptocurrencies. In fact, crypto already went up a lot ish well actually no it went down and then went back back up and then now it's at the real value so yeah people are just like yeah screw this but yeah people are definitely going to adopt uh, crypto more uh us government probably needs five months to mail stimulus checks what oh well they're mailing i don't care i did direct deposit so i'm, I'm gonna get my money sooner or later yeah the, alec Bowen's a f word too Hyper Bitcoinization has to care with new voucher redeemable in Bitcoin. Yeah, three, the, uh, okay, Swift Challenge. Okay, well, that's from yesterday. Um, I don't know. What do I even title this this, this video? Uh, coronavirus lie. New Jersey, New Orleans among new something gold death toll mounts. Esper defends. I uh, really. Uh, I do want to know why they removed him. I don't want to give CNN the hit, but Corona shuts down. Keep African elite from seeking medical care. To turn for show buybacks fill hallways of Brooklyn hospital. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is actually happening a lot. But again, it's old people and fat people mostly. Very small percentage is just uh, healthy, perfectly healthy people dying. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and on top of that, this is obviously New York City, so we're, it's a very ethnically diverse and specifically non-white and very liberal. So basically everyone's neuroticism is like close to 100. So like everyone's just paranoid now. So uh, yeah, CT coronavirus updates when a surge of cases hit. Yeah, so basically what should happen is based on my data that I'm seeing here, once people get mad enough and then they'll see oh you know the deaths are only going up in a linear fashion like what the fuck right people are just simply going to get very mad you know mike sarish mentioned this in a tweet a long time ago uh, it seems like a long time ago it's like a month or whatever and he said initially that um a lot of people are just going to get mad and they're going to start throwing everybody out I know, every, I know everyone's going to get mad, but I think he just grossly underestimates the power of tribalism. They're not going to throw everybody out. They're just going to find who they hate the most and then just come out and vote. So, I mean, it's going to be... Uh, I know definitely people... It's, I think it's possible that moderates, so that's basically people like me, who do an incompetent job are definitely going to get thrown out. Um... And then you have the hardcore left or right wing people. They'll get reelected simply because they'll just blame the other side. And then, you know, everyone's jacked up on anger and hate, especially if they're pissed about coronavirus, right? Either they got infected, someone they knew they got infected, or God forbid, someone they knew died from it. Yeah, you know, you just got to push their buttons, right? So it's the people in the middle that will get crushed, <laughs> just like the middle class. 
A lot of deaths are coming. War Trump warns as U.S. Blah, blah blah. See, see, the problem is Trump is just being told all this fucking fear mongering shit, and it's like really starting to piss me off. Um. Oh, okay. I don't have to play the video. How long is the video? Uh, Defense Secretary Mark Esper, defendant today who won the action, was needed to say, did he say the move is an example of how we hold leaders account for their actions? I think acting secretary, uh, he, uh, he has lost face in the cat based on his actions. It's another example of how we hold leaders accountable for their actions. Yeah, because, because a dissident right website that I was reading. The captain of the U.S. Oh, great. Hit the refresh button just as it was loading. Um... Yeah, basically, he's just a really old boomer, and he's just scared and paranoid. And then, yeah, you can't have a leader that's just acting like, especially a military commander. Like, you're, you've are you seen it all. You're not supposed to act paranoid, right? You are, can you imagine General Patton acting like, oh my god, like fucking Bill de Blasio or even Mario Cuomo? It's like, you know, so that's the feeling I got, but I want to hear his side of the story. The Navy guy that got fired, and of course the fake news terrorists are all Trump, uh, trumping him up, so that's why I'm already suspicious. Let's see, he was relieved. Uh, he decisive factions require, asked by time of a current investigation, should have been launched prior to his removal, asked that it was not unheard of in the name. All the services at times relieve commanders without the benefit of the investigator up front because they have lost confidence in it. It certainly is not unique to the Navy. They use a call, uh, Navy is swift and decisive in removing people quickly. Yeah, that's true. Like if you're if you're weak, right? You're you, you got to go, right? Because you're going to be telling people to do stuff, and if you're weak, you're going to be t that's going to be reflected in your results, and a lot of your men and women are going to get killed, right? Or the mission fails, and a lot of people die. You know, so you know what? You're out. <laughs> you know, but it's not like they're like you know, kicking him out of the Navy or taking away his pension or something. It's just, it's just relieved of command. So, you know, leading, leading this shit is not, um, not easy, right? It might be easy for someone like me because I can generally, because I'm generally very honest and responsible. I can also have my own, you know, whatever in control. But, you know, I also have pretty good ego control too. But apparently most people just cannot do that. Say the report, sorry, is tested positive. Say it was able to for Crow to widely send the memo remarking that he could, uh, could, could call and ask and suggest. Uh, okay. Yeah, and Trump's a really big military guy, so he easily could have just taken a phone. He, the, the, why didn't this guy just simply call up Donald Trump, right? Uh, or call up his buddies in the Navy, right? Because the Navy. Or really any military branch there's politics involved you're gonna have some actual friends that will back you right so just go through them uh or terrible experts say you can get the facts of america's the ongoing event come to my desk i also said it was not trump's decision to remove him but rather that of the acting secretary that was secretary moldy's uh calling it close to curl i think it is close to curl and of course joe biden and the democrats are politicizing it all right, so CNN did not, I mean, they said it's because, I mean, they kind of hinted at it. Yeah, so whatever. Uh, this is our thumbnail. All right, so if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so that uh, we can continue growing this channel. I was disconnected from Bit Heroes, of course. So, anyway, if you like what you, uh, oh, I already said that. Um, yeah, so I'm done for the day. Uh, I'm going to consider not doing videos Saturday and Sunday. Just going to throw that out there, so we'll uh, we'll see. Um, and then, um, yeah, you know, because, uh, yeah, because there's not much happening. I do like the rambles, but, eh, oh, well, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow's videos, um, video, and, uh, well, you know, it's going to be, I mean, it's completely up in the air what's going to happen. Um, and, of course, I'm going to be watching Remmel real quick. Uh, any news? Let's see. Uh, recent past week. Three days ago, six days, two, two. All right, nothing new. All right, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and here's our thumbnail. I have no idea what I'm going to title this video. Oh, whoops. Uh, I, I hit exit instead of stop recording.